Hi there everybody, it's Halsey from Slim and Stylish. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have this gorgeous little note card for you for Valentine's and it matches the box that I did yesterday. So yesterday I put this box together and did a tutorial and it holds a cupcake inside and I think it's just adorable so I thought I'll make a card that goes with it. This card was made using the new notelets that are in the new catalogue. They are two and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inches. No, they're not. They're two and a half inches by four and a half inches. So they are quite wee and tiny. So I'm just going to fold it. I'll fold it the right way as well. They're pre-scored. So that's quite handy. And they come with their little envelope, which is a sweet envelope because it's got a gorgeous top on it. And I'm just going to show you how I put this together. It's quite simple. It's just the embossing that was the the decorative but probably timely thing to do. So if I just get my embossing buddy wherever I threw that, there it is. And just get this ready, my versa mark. And the stamp I'm using from this stamp set is this one here. I think it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna grab that and ink it up. got so much detail you really want to make sure it's inked and you want to push down really hard on it to make sure that it's definitely on the paper if you want you can use your stamping mat mine's at the side I haven't thought about it but make sure it's all stinked down because it's got quite a bit of detail in that stamp set there is that all gone on yeah brilliant you can just about see it can't you on your embossing only just spare piece of paper underneath that on. There we go. I think it's a gorgeous stamp set. I'm just going to put that back before I knock it over. I've seen quite a few cards done with the stamp set but I haven't really seen many done with this stamp and confuses me because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. If you've got me on sound, do turn me down because I'm just going to start at the gun and heat and boss it. that's it all done and it is beautiful it would be lovely even if you just kept it blank I'm not I'm going to colour it in so the colours I've got are Melon Mambo, Rich Razzleberry, Calypso Coral, Wild Wasabi and Powder Pink. Now these colours are all in the paper or these four are and then I've just used this to brighten it up a little bit and I'm using the blender pen with these rather than the markers because I just want it to be a little bit subtler and because I made the other one just before you can see I've already put the ink in the in the lid ready to go so let's just where was my scrap check that I haven't got any colour left on that and then starting at the edge working in with the melon mumbo I think I said yesterday I don't use Melon Mumbo often because it's it's a bit too bright, um, or I thought it was. But as I used it yesterday and used it today, I'm actually starting to get a new appreciation for Melon Mumbo, especially when you blend in with it because it's not as bright as the ink is stamping it and it's just quite, quite pastel-y, or it can be, and it creates some nice shades. So I, I think I found a new colour that I like. I don't really need any more because I'm 
in love with most of the colours. I don't which one I find a tricky colour, Calypso Coral. Um, someone put up the other day saying they really don't like Calypso Coral. And I really do like it. Um, but there was lots of people on the thread saying, well, no, we don't like it either or we never use it. But I use it. I like it. If I go over to my paper drawer, I think I've probably got the most amount of... One paper is probably my Calypso Coral. So that confused me. I didn't comment. I thought I'll be the only one singing its praises. No one else seemed to really, really like it. So with the powder pink, that's a really subtle colour. So when you're using that, try and grab up as much as you can with it. Um, with all the gold and the embossing and the prettiness, it's quite hard to see which are leaves and which are flowers, but you kind of get it as you go along. That's all of those. Do keep rubbing through your blender pen after each one so that you're not carrying the colour over. Wouldn't have mattered that much with the pink because it is so subtle, but if you carried a colour like Rich Razzleberry over, it would be very noticeable. So just keep checking it. I used Rich Razzleberry on the big flowers because there's only two of them. I didn't want the card to be too bright. No, I kind of quite like it being a, a subtle heart. So there we go. There's that one. And again, run it through, otherwise your Calypso Coral would just be, have this colour all the way in. We'll eventually run out. There we go. So Calypso Coral next. Just done that with these little flowers here. I do, I like it. But then I'm, I'm kind of an orangey girl. If I had the choice between like red or orange lipstick, it'd probably be an orange lipstick that I've put on. So peaches and corals though, I think they're lovely. There we go, I think that's all of those. This is one of those images that when you get to the end you notice that you've missed a flower. And you have to come back. But I don't think I have this time. And then wild wasabi just on the leaves. Because it's heat embossed, you can actually whiz along with this because you've kind of got a bit of a guide keeping your blender pen in. It helps. It's not like having a flat image that you've got to think about colouring. So if you're one of those people who don't like the blenders, or your markers because you go out the lines or you haven't got the patience to do it slowly and stay in the lines heat embossing before you do it is so handy and your new stamp apparatus I saw someone on one of the um, sites they stamped coloured it in and then stamped over the top of it so that looked really good so there you are all coloured in and done. I do. I love this stamp set. I thought to myself, I don't really want it because it's just Valentine's, and I'm not a big Valentine's person. I might have said that before, but I'm not. And I thought, well, I'm not really going to use it. But then I saw this one, and I thought, that's great. Mother's Day, birthday, any time really, and it's just so pretty. I love florals anyway. So I don't think I've used any of the other stamps from the stamp set yet. Just this one. And then, there we go. There's my heart, so 
bringing in the notelet, I've got a piece of Melon Mambo that is two inches wide. And then I've got my DSP, which is cut at two and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. And what I did with this, if I just grab my glue, I just put a little bit of glue on there and stuck it down. Like that with just a tiny, tiny bit of the melon mumbo showing. So it's just an edge like that. And then I cut this to shape here so that I knew I could get it all even on the way around. Because it's only a tiny hint of the melon mumbo behind it. Put my tombow back on. Quite handy doing it with Tombow because you can just position it yourself on the card where you want it. But I do often run over it then with a bone folder just to make sure it's definitely stuck and it moves the glue around behind it. Now for the centre of the card, just here, I use the washi tape that I had put on the box. So this is the washi tape from the fruit basket set in the new catalogue. And it goes lovely with this paper and I just put it as a straight line across. So I'm just going to guesstimate that it's about that longer one. She says as she sticks it to her, to itself. Let's go again. And I went straight from the one edge, straight across to the other edge. So it went straight through the the white just trim that off there I don't like folding it back onto the empty side of the card because then it looks really messy when you open it okay for the heart I grabbed a bit of the whisper white organizer ribbon so it matches the box if I bring the box in as you can see and I just made a very quick bow was very quick I'm making it longer there we go trim that and then with a glue dot I fell out with glue dots yesterday I don't know if you were watching but me and glue dots had a had a problem we're not gonna have it today I've had a word with them and said listen here behave. can't find my paper piercer though so I'm just gonna stick it directly to the bow. That'll help it behave anyway. There we are. And then I've stuck that at the top of the heart just there. Ready to go on there. At the back of here I put a little bit of fast fuse across there and then brought in the sequin trim and I cut three pieces they're not long probably about two inches long two and a half inches and they don't all have to be the same length Turn them upside down so you've got the back to you and just, just adhere them onto the card. Preferably so they all fall at different lengths and they look a bit, a bit random really. I don't like it looking too perfect, placed and size line. So that's quite nice. Um, dimensionals, that will help. down. I normally have long nails. I like my long nails. They're great with crafting long nails, but short nails are not so great. And then just 
stick that onto there like that and there's the card and it matches the box perfectly so it could go as a two and then there's the envelope to go with it you could do some decorations on the envelope I haven't because the card is just so fancy but you could always decorate the envelope and if you do have a circle punch or you have the larger circle framelits they will make a nice envelope lining in there for you but there you go that's my project for today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all soon. Bye.